Okay, so in this next module, we're going to talk about some CAD basics, basically how to um, how to open, how to save, how to create a new drawing. We're going to be talking about some of the file types, um, what, uh, and, and also some of the the uh, formatting that we can do, uh, bringing various different units, uh, changing from inches uh, to metrics, setting limits. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is that uh, in the center here on the top we've got drawing one dot dwg all right so this tells us that the the name of the drawing is drawing one and it is a drawing file uh, if we go to the autodesk a and hit that and we go to save as this kind of gives us a good indication of the various file formats that we can save as um, and basically we want to take a look at two file formats. So uh, the drawing file format, which is .dwg, and also the drawing template, uh, which is .dwt. Um, other file formats that are typically used uh, is the DXF file format. Um, but uh, essentially the two that we're going to be working with is the, the drawing template and the drawing file. All right. So uh, also under this uh, Autodesk A, we've got uh, a new drawing. Uh, we can open up an existing drawing uh, drawing file, and we can also save or save as. So, and you can do this in a couple other different places too. If you're used to working in the uh, menu bar, you can left click on file and you can do the same thing you can start a new drawing open up a drawing um, or you can do a save or save as and finally you can do that on the top bar here uh, with the paper icon you can open up a drawing using the open folder icon or you can you can you save or do a save as with these uh, little diskette icons so what I want to do is I want to create a new drawing. So I'm going to go to the new drawing uh, icon and I'm going to click on that. And the first thing that pops up is a list of templates to use. Uh, you can't just start a drawing from scratch. You actually need some sort of template to start from. So in this whole list of templates, we're going to use the ACAD uh, template file. Okay, so if you click on that, you know, click on that. So here we got the, the file name which is ACAD and we do see that is a template file and when we open this template file the first thing that pops up is this warning saying that if we print anything out it's gonna have a banner saying that it was created on this educational product which is fine for our purposes so we're gonna hit continue but that template file if we look up top here now you'll notice that turned into a drawing file. Okay, and it says drawing five. So uh, I opened up a couple of drawings before that. Uh, so that's why it says drawing five. And next one I open up will probably say drawing six. But you know, you'll notice that the template file changed into a drawing file, and that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create something here. Put a little circle, put a couple lines hit escape to get out of the command <clears throat> and we've created a new drawing so I don't want to leave this as drawing 5 I want to save this as something else you know I'll call this you know uh, test sculpture or something like that so we can do that in a couple different places we can use the file menu and go to save or save as we can go to the Autodesk icon and go save, save as, or we can use the little diskettes. All right, I'm going to use the little diskette, <clears throat> hit save, and looks like we've already got a drawing file in here, but I'm going to go down to file name, and we're going to call this um, circle sculpture. <clears throat> So circle sculpture, 
is the name of the new file that uh, that I'm saving and we notice that it says AutoCAD 2010 or Lite 2010 drawing file. If I click on that drop down we see a whole list of DXF files, we see a, a template file, a drawing standards file, and a series of drawing files. So uh, if I save this in 2013 and I try to open it up in a 2010 version it won't let me. It'll say, you know, please update your AutoCAD um, so that you can open this file. Um, but if we save it in 2010 and decide to open it in 2013, uh, it'll say that's fine. Uh, we just want to make sure that to let you know that if you do open it in the 2013 file, that it will become a 2013 file. So. Um, good way to uh, to dumb things down a little bit and always stay backward compatible one step um, so the 2010 version is fine or if you want to go all the, all out and save it as a as the latest version you can do that as well so I'm going to hit save and you'll notice up top here now we have the file path and it says circle sculpture DWG I know that my drawing uh, is saved so now I'm going to close out, and here's the minimize, maximize, and close. So I'm going to hit that little X. My drawing disappears. I don't have my drawing anymore. But I forgot something. I want to open it back up again. So I can go to the open folder. And again, you can use the, the file or the Autodesk A. You can find open there as well. I'm going to use the open folder. And here is my circle sculpture drawing. You notice down here, here's the file name and it's a DWG file so that works. I'm going to hit open and I've got my drawing open and you'll notice that the title of the drawing is up here in the center. It is a drawing file and this is my drawing. 